as you can see on this machine, we have the servo drive and the spindle drive and the power supply for all of them. So this uh, communication cable came from the uh, communication board. And if you remove this uh, connection and move the terminator to the this position, the CNC is going to recognize that, that just have a, a, a axis, a X and Z axis. But it will assume that the spindle drive doesn't exist. But if you check, we have the code 37 in both axis F1 and F2. Additionally, what we can see is that the spindle drive doesn't have any signal or it's like uh, a dead drive doesn't, maybe it's faulty. So need to be checked. And the power supply seems to be okay because you can see the letter B here and the LED that it says that we have power on the DC bus. What we need to do is to open these leads, these covers, and check with a meter in uh, DC voltage. If we have uh, around 300 DC voltage in between the two phases, are, there are two bars here only, which is the DC bus and we need to make sure that this is connected with the spindle and then with the drive sometimes people used to forget to put the the bolts that adjust the bars and that need to be checked but if if that is the case the spindle is must, must be faulty here what we can see is that the the machine is booting up and as you see the axis gets enabled and now you can see that we have a legal parameter and this is the error code that we have on the on the drives. And let's check. And let's check the uh, diagnosis uh, alarm. You are going to see that there is a illegal parameter alarm and the emergency stop that is due to the 26 alarm. On the version uh, screen, you are going to see that in this case, the spindle number one it doesn't exist, meaning that uh, even though the, the connection was in place, there is an issue on the spindle, so uh, the CNC cannot recognize. So the test that needs to be done is to move the terminator that we saw first to the axis uh, module, to the axis uh, drive, and remove the cable that goes from the drives to the spindle, the axis drive to the spindle drive. Even though the, um, the um, alarm 26 uh, illegal parameters means that you can have a catastrophic failure that where the, all the parameters have been lost. In this case, it uh, seems to be more than the, the spindle drive because uh, even that you have the 26 illegal parameter alarm, you should have uh, the seven segment display on the spindle drive uh, on with some uh, errors or uh, codes.
and this is not the case. And another thing that you must be sure is that the options, the machine option, are the correct one. In this case, this machine only has the option number one. What means that if the machine happens to have other options like 10, 12, 11, and so on, this is going to be a symptom that the CNC needs to be restored to the with using the the backups. And let's check the next page, the servo monitor. Here you see the 37 alarm uh, or code that is on the axis display. So that's okay. And here we don't see the spindle. As you see, and this is a symptom that is like uh, the um, terminator was placed on the on the servo dri uh, axis servo drive. Um, so let's check in hardware monitor. We have the configuration on the machine. Uh, where you have the CPU and so on. By the way, here you also can see that the the um, MRJ2 maybe this um, this is for the turret, and you have the PLC version and language, and you have the version on each uh, axis and you can see that the motor has an encoder the servo motor has an encoder but the machine doesn't have any encoder on the ball screw this is the cnc unit its serial number and the model so when you restore the options the options are linked to the serial number, meaning that if you have a file uh, or a backup that is uh, belongs to another machine, you won't be able to restore the options that we saw on the screen that is right here. On this screen. Okay, you have to use the main uh, software that is on the explore i'm gonna leave the, the the link to the video that is shows how to do it the other thing that you can do is to check um, check the servo monitor and the spindle monitor uh, there are several pages you can review and some of those pages will show you on the servo monitor uh, actually in the spindle monitor is going to show you the power supply data so you should be able to see both power supply the spindle and the axis and um, if you go through uh, let's say here in diagnosis there is um when you have version servo monitor and a spindle monitor and you go uh, you enter we use in service uh, mode you should be able to see the parameters on those uh, devices the servos 